Yo, what's up my friends? It's Steve from Straight Fire Picks. We got your best bets for NBA here for you today on Thursday, April 11th, 2024. We're going to have NBA player props, spreads, totals, predictions here for you today. We got three picks that are great value bets here for this Thursday NBA slate. As always, we'd just like to thank you guys all for your continued support here on the channel. If you guys are new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 9,000 subscribers. As always, appreciate all of your guys' support. You guys absolutely rock. Let's have a big day here in the NBA. Make sure you guys check us out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at Strict Fire Picks for more picks, content, recap, stuff like that. Also, be sure to drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. Include your pick in the video if it hits. Last thing, just be sure to check out our community Discord page as well. It's absolutely free to do. Uh, you get access to, uh, the, like I said, the Discord. We're in there. I'm in there. Um, you get access to more picks, research, announcements, stuff like that. Uh, great way to follow us and keep up with us here at the channel. All right, guys. Now let's do a shout out to our Straight Fire MVP. So as always, you see this beautiful list here. Running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. Shout out to our newest Straight Fire MVP, Anthony Blocker. Appreciate you, man, for signing up. Um, appreciate the support. You guys absolutely rock. If you guys are interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP today, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section description for that. The cost is just $3.99 per month. You get access to our picks and our plays early. That's really the biggest value add. Um, if you guys are interested in that, you also get a badge next to your name, some custom emojis, and a roll cloud in the Discord. And also just a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. Really helps us going forward and what we're doing, guys. Um, helping us get these videos out. So I appreciate that. I um, just wanted to say thank you for that. So enough on that. Let's do a recap from yesterday. So it ended up being a 2-2 two two day yesterday. Uh, as far as our results, definitely not the day I was looking for, but... Uh, not terrible for how it started. It started 0 and 2, and then we cashed our final two plays. But uh, definitely was sad about Chet Holmgren over 25 and a half PRAs. He had 17 at the half, and he didn't play in the second half. So naturally, that's the thing this time of year, guys. Especially you know the way the game was. It was a 40 point game, and um, the guy just got benched and didn't come back in. So that's that's life. That's how that works. I think he definitely would have cashed potentially even in the third quarter. Uh, and then Jimmy Butler over 31 and a half PRAs. I still like this one as as well. It's just, man, I just was really surprised at how little involved he was in this particular game. Um, you know, I know during the regular season, he's kind of, you know, riding and floating, and then all of a sudden he explodes. Though this is going to be one of those moments where that happened, you know, how big of a game this was for the Heat. And Jimmy just really just didn't look like he wanted to take this game over. So I was kind of unfortunate on that. Our final two plays hit. We cashed the Denver Nuggets minus six spread. They ended up winning by nine. And then we cashed Devin Booker under four and a half rebounds. This was easy. He finished with one rebound. Uh, so, like I said, two and two minus uh, .11 units. Lost a little bit of juice. That's okay, though. We're going to bounce back today. Uh, we're going to get at least, hopefully, a three, a two in one day. Uh, three and oh sweep would be ideal. We need a sweep, guys. And three plays is definitely... Uh, we should be able to do that. So let's get after today. Let's get right into our picks, guys. At number one, we're going with Josh Hart. Over five and a half assists here for the New York Knicks. Plus 100 odds on FanDuel. Love this one tonight, guys. Josh Hart has hit this line in his last eight games. Uh, if you don't count the game where he got ejected, which technically it would count, but that's not going to happen again. That's the point I'm making with that. I believe he played, what, a minute or two? Like, it was... Ridiculous. Obviously, he's not getting no six assists in that game. Uh, but he's hit the over in seven of his last ten road games. Like seeing that. A lot of Boston Celtics here on the injury report tonight. I don't know who's going to play. I mean, um, just about everybody on the Celtics is on the injury report. So we could see a bunch of uh, makeshifters out there for the Celtics, which, you know, could either bode well for Hart. But I think regardless of the matchup here, this is just too low of a line for Josh Hart. He's had success though versus the Celtics this season, hitting this line in two out of three games. Um, and obviously his revelation late, you know, he's been so much more involved over the last couple of months. Uh, where his minutes have gone way up and his usage has gone way up. So seeing him average 9.9 .9 potential assist over the last 10 games, which is pretty solid overall. <clears throat> And here you have the Celtics allowing the ninth most assists to small forwards over the last 15 games as well. So this is a nice spot here for Josh Hart. Now, Ananobi coming back, I don't think really impacts this too much. Ananobi doesn't really get assist anyway. Um, so uh, Josh Hart, 
you know, as far as his usage in the passing game, still should be uh, fairly high. So I love him hitting this over tonight, especially for plus value. So love it there for number one pick. We got Josh Hart over five and a half assists here for the New York Knicks, plus 100 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and at number two, we are going with the Sacramento Kings. Money line here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Minus 108 odds on FanDuel. This guy's no Brandon Ingram for the Pelicans, who has been huge in this particular matchup. Now, the last time the Pelicans were actually in Sacramento, I took the Pelicans' money line. I think they were plus money, and they cashed easily. They won by, like, 30. Um, so the Pelicans have been one of the best road teams in the NBA. I definitely get that. Uh, but here without Brandon Ingram, there's a big difference on the floor tonight. Uh, he's been a plus 70 differential in the last four meetings between these two. That's a big guy to miss in your lineup. And, um, you know, in those matchups, he averaged 24.8 points per game. So I think they're really going to miss him in this particular matchup. I think here the Kings are going to have a shot here at home to get this done. I like that the Kings are, are at home. I mean, although if you look at the spread totals, you know, Pelicans, one of the better road spread teams at 22-16-1. And, and Kings, you know, not too good at home at 16-22 and 22 against the spread. But I think in this particular spot, guys, Kings still with a lot to play for. Uh, if they win this game, they're actually alive for the sixth seed and the potential to take it away from the Pelicans. So this game is big for both sides. Uh, so you'll see the best here from the Kings. Um, and really, obviously, you'll see the best really from the Pelicans, too. Uh, but I think here, without Brandon Ingram, I think that's going to be a huge loss in this particular matchup. Just because he's been so big in this matchup, that's going to be huge. Really, you look over the last 10 games, both these teams comparable as far as offensive and defensive rating. Pelicans 15th, Kings 21st in offensive rating last 10 games. Kings 8th, Pelicans 12th in defensive rating over the last 10 games. So, really, both these teams fairly comparable. Usually, you want to take the home team there um, in that case. Um, and I think for even value here at home, I don't think you could beat it here on the Kings. And uh, I think they get this done tonight. So, love that for number two pick. We're going with the Sacramento Kings money line here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Minus 108 odds on FanDuel. Okay, guys. And finally, at number three, we're going with Kobe White. Under 20 and a half points here for the Chicago Bulls. Minus 108 odds on FanDuel. Love this one here today, guys. He's under in seven of his last ten games, eight of his last ten under on the road. Under in all three of his matchups this year versus the Detroit Pistons, so we love seeing that. Pistons here allowing the fewest points to point guards over the last 15 games. Pistons also allowing the fewest threes to point guards over the last 15 games, which is significant because Kobe White obviously relies really heavily on that three ball. So... I said, yeah, I think White uh, here is, is going to go under here versus the Pistons guys on the road. He just has not been very consistent to this line. Um, you know, I had a game last game where he shot a lot, 22 shots, um, and ended up putting up 24 points. But here, consistently, he just hasn't been shooting that much, and he hasn't been cashing this line that much, especially versus the Pistons. He's averaging less than 10 points per game in those three matchups with the Pistons. He wasn't even close. Uh, so easily hitting that under. And I think once again, you'll see that happening. And the Pistons have actually been better defensively uh, versus the point guard position, which is interesting. Spread here is set to 9.5, so there is a blowout potential here as well, which may, could mean a loss of minutes for White. We saw it happen to our boy Holmgren, so it's a good idea to at least have one under in your picks uh, the way the NBA is now. At least it feels like it provides some just some variability where you can, uh, you know, hopefully... <laughs> Unders, unders hit guys, even when they're not supposed to. Like last night with Chet Holmgren. Oh, don't get me started. But it is what it is. But that's it for number three pick, guys. We get Kobe White under 20 and a half points here for the Chicago Bulls. Minus 108 odds on FanDuel. All right, guys. going to do it for our picks. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. We got our Major League Baseball Best Bets video out already as well. So be sure to check that out. I'll have that link here at the end of this video, so you guys can just click on that. If you guys want to bet some NBA today, or Major League Baseball today, have been really hot in baseball. 9-3 and three in our last 12 picks in Major League Baseball. we got four picks today for that, so check that out. 3-1 uh, and one day again yesterday. Um, so, really, it's been a great week here at the channel, guys. And I've been winning just about every day. Uh, obviously, yesterday in the NBA was about a break-even day, but um, overall, it's been a very solid week. Hopefully, we can keep that going. And... Um, keep making some money that's the idea get on a nice run here in the month of april uh, heading into the nba playoffs so i'm super psyched about the playoffs guys i feel like 
once we get to the playoffs, things will be a little bit easier because, you know, we know we have the best teams in the NBA. And um, honestly, I feel like that'll be a lot easier to cap because we don't have trash teams going up against each other. There won't be as much of that blowout stuff going on where you have loss in minutes. You'll know what you're working with. Um, and uh, I think we'll have a better idea once we get to the playoffs. So another quick thing. Um... I mentioned this in our Major League Baseball Best Buds video as well. Our video schedule is typically going to be 8.30 for baseball, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time for Major League Baseball Best Buds videos, NBA Best Buds videos at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, the NBA one could be a little bit later sometimes uh, just because of stuff with my schedule, but outside of that, for the most part, it should be 8.30 and 10.30 is what you should expect. Um, like I said, NBA sometimes will be later on in the day, but we'll definitely try to get that out. So appreciate you guys. Thank you guys all for supporting the channel. You guys absolutely rock. It is fun doing this stuff. And um, like I said, you know, the member things we talked about earlier, that does help me to keep going with the channel. Um, it's not one of those things where, you know, um, I, I don't overlook stuff like that. I really do appreciate, you know, the, the members that we have. It really helps us to keep going here at the channel. So I appreciate all of you guys' support. You guys rock. It's been a it's been a fun ride the last few years doing this. So obviously we're not stopping anytime soon. I'm just saying it's been a lot of fun and you guys rock. So let's have a great day in the NBA. Check out our Major League Baseball Best Buds video. Outside of that, that is going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.